Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today, yes, I'm finally able to show you Sonic Mania and tell you all about how I feel about it, and it is wonderful. One small thing I do need to mention, though. This is not the Nintendo Switch version! Yes, sadly, for some strange reason, I've no idea why, the Nintendo Switch versions of the game will not be ready until release, which is fine for people who are getting the game, but for people like me, it's, it's, a, it's a bit inconvenient. But thankfully, Sega were very kind and sent over an Xbox One copy of the game, and considering it's basic, it, it, well, in fact, it is exactly the same game, nevertheless, it's, it still works, and it means that I get to show it to you right now rather than when it's out, which is just super tasty. Also, this is going to be entirely spoiler-free, so do not worry about that. Uh, I'm just going to be going through zones and looking at bosses that have already previously been announced. I'm not going to be looking at any new stuff, because there's loads of stuff in here that is just wonderful, and you deserve to see it firsthand. We are going to have a video going up about one thing in particular, which could arguably be a spoiler, but um, there's going to be a lot of forewarning about that, and it's really cool, and I want to cover it anyway, so zip it. I'm gonna go all the way over here and just start a new game with Sonic and Tails, you know, the basic stuff. I might have a might have a go with Tails as well, and uh, maybe even Knuckles if I'm feeling particularly spicy, and um, just play the game. It's very similar to the opening of Sonic 3, uh, only with obviously several differences. But as you can see here, we've got these egg robots that are all sort of doing this. I have no idea why. Big grabby claw comes down and picks up this crystal of some kind, I'm guessing it's some kind of emerald. It's not a Chaos Emerald because of the colour, obviously. Uh, sorry, not the colour, the shape. And it's doing something. And Sonic gets taken away from presumably Southern Island and gets sent back to Green Hill Zone or Mobius. Presumably it's Mobius, we don't know. Um, because like all the best Sonic games, this has absolutely no narrative to it whatsoever. And yeah, this pretty much looks exactly like... No, oh, Tails managed to get them, but not me. This looks exactly the same as um, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, and there's a good reason for that. One of the new moves, which is, which seems really basic, but is actually incredibly useful, is a new drop dash, which you just saw there. And uh, so when you jump and you're in that form, if you release the jump button and press it again, you'll go into straight into a sort of a spin dash. It's not super fast, but it's fast enough. And it's really, really handy, because you can also change direction like that. No doubt you probably know about that. But anyway, I have been playing this. I haven't completed it yet, simply because I want to complete it with all the Chaos Emeralds and I just had to sort of zip through what I had and uh, so wasn't able to get all of the Chaos Emeralds for my final, my first time completing the game. So I'm sort of saving myself for that. But the, it's, I do just think that this game's honestly absolutely wonderful and I get to show you the special stage now and the special stages are brilliant. They're so... They're just like really bad 3D and I think it looks wonderful and there's loads of references to the classic Sonic games like the birds flying around like you used to get in these special stages in Sonic 1. Thankfully you're not going around some random spinny world that you can barely control. And I've got up to Mac 2. Now the objective here for me is to get to the UFO, which is very easy on this one, I'll be honest. Just need to grab a load of these orbs, don't even really need to get higher than Mac 2 for this one and just go around, and it handles... It handles well, but at the same time, it's it's kind of slippery. It, it's, it basically handles very similarly to um, Sonic CD, only the levels themselves are designed to be a little bit more forgiving. And there we go, I just reached it like that. It's really easy, or at least that one is. All the others, they are, they are not easy at all, but I've got one Chaos Emerald. And it's interesting to note that there are, I believe, I don't know for certain, multiple of these special stage gates, if you like, on every level. I found two in this level, one when I was playing as Sonic, and um, one when I was playing as... Bleh, one when I was playing as Knuckles. In fact, now you know what, let's uh, have a quick look at the special stages, and uh, anyone who's played a lot of classic Sonic will immediately recognize this as Blue Sphere. And honestly, it's just Blue Sphere. And I must admit, when I, when I was younger, I didn't play a lot of this, but I played a fair amount of it, because it was in Sonic 3, and it's actually the game I've played least in the Sonic series, and uh, that should make it immediately apparent just how little I've played. But it's, it's good fun, you know, it's, it's straightforward, it's simple, and it's nice that it's the bonus stage and not the special stage, so it's not required because I do prefer the other special stages. I'm not going to be able to get a hit on this. Oh no, I did. That's alright. One more. Oh no. 
poorly timed. And of course it does that. Ugh. But he does done this boss like three times or something. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, I can hit that. I didn't think I could. I'll get you. Now you're both going to go red. Yep, yeah, and go around and go around. The amount of bosses in this game um, is a lot, to be honest with you. There we go. Got it both. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of bosses. Let's see if I can get any bonus things. The one there. Yes. <laughs> Classic trope. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that to go. Might get another one. Nah, I didn't think so. But yeah, it's. I mean, th the best way to describe Sonic Mania. It, it's Sonic 4, basically, and I mean a proper Sonic 4. And you get the little transitions just like you did with Sonic 3. And um, generally, the level, the zones are sort of split up. You've got, um, you know, sort of zone 1 of each area. And uh, then you've got zone 2. And generally, zone 1 will be a level you've seen before. Not always, not always, but like Green Hill Zone. But zone 2 is entirely different. And to be honest, it's the second zones where the game really, really stra uh, starts to show its strengths, as it were. Because there's uh, there's a lot more creativity, a lot more that simply couldn't be done on the original Mega Drive and, um, uh, well, Mega Drive or Genesis versions. And yeah, you see you burn a bridge there, which you couldn't do with the original Fire Shield. Oh, get me some super speed shoes. And I'm breaking the sound barrier already. Ugh. Interestingly, though, when you've got a shield, damn it, uh, when you've got a shield um, of any kind beyond the standard shield, you can't do the drop dash because pressing the um, pressing the jump button when you're in the air will just will just do, the, do what the shield does. Ow! Oh. which I should be able to show you now. I should be able to, and I go into <laughs> blue spheres again. You know what? You, you've seen this before, so I'll just kill myself. I say kill myself. I'll just exit the zone if you like. And uh, I'm going to need to restart the recording. Yeah, I can still use the drop dash. I was pretty certain I could, but you know when you just have those niggling doubts in the back of your mind? I had one of those. Come on, let me through. There we go. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a minute. And I'm going to be doing a different level because I'm sure you've seen enough of this one. Okay, interestingly, you can only do Act 2 of Mirage Island. I'm trying to play as Tails. I was desperately trying to find levels that I knew had been revealed, and uh, Mirage Saloon is one of those. And I'm just doing the time attack mode. I'm not going to... In fact, I, I, I will show you. If you hold the... Um... I don't know what it would be on the Switch, I'm afraid. Um, I believe the X button. I've actually swapped the controls around on my Xbox One because I play it so infrequently. So this is A and this is B and stuff like that. Um, so if I hold... Y on the Xbox One, which would be X on the uh, on the Switch. I don't know whether it's actually going to be that way because I haven't played the Switch version. You can just go straight back to the start, which is really handy for time attack because you don't want to have to go through a menu if you do a little mistake and you can. And it doesn't start until you go through that gate, which is a really nice thing. Also, if you're playing as Tails or Knuckles, you're doing time attack wrong because they're really slow in comparison to Sonic, um, especially with the new drop dash and stuff like that which is really cool, and um, it really gives something unique to Sonic, which I know sounds a bit silly, because, you know, sort of Sonic, well, he's generally faster and stuff like that, but in Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and even Sonic 3, I would say, he wasn't really that much faster. He was faster than Knuckles, I would definitely say, but not necessarily faster than Tails, because he could do the spin dash, he could do all that good stuff, he could get all the super shoes, and he could also fly in the air which allowed him to do various skips and stuff like that. Not many, because generally going up doesn't provide that much. Ah, I'm not going to be able to reach that. But it was good fun while it tried. While it tried, it was good fun while it lasted, I believe, I meant to say. Now, that blue ring, that's interesting. I will show you what that blue ring does very quickly, because that's a new power-up, and uh, it's, it's nothing exceptional. Can I? Yep, yeah, there I go. You see, they're big rings rather than the standard small ones. They're nice big rings, and it's easier to get your number of rings back which is um, useful to a degree. It's just a nice little extra thing they've thrown in there, you know, to have more new stuff. Oh, come on. I'm not going to be able to fly out of that. Oh, no, I am. Okay. I can do the seltzer thing. This is a seltzer bottle. Whee! And that did very little. <laughs> Nevertheless, so... Honestly, I think the... Um, whoa, it's one of these suckers. The best thing I can say about Sonic Mania is... If you're a classic Sonic fan, you, you're going to struggle to be disappointed. It's everything you would expect from a classic Sonic game, 
including the graphics, you know, the graphics being, you know, the graphics being pixelated is a fun little thing, but honest, honestly, I think I would have preferred it on the whole if they tried to go, you know, had a little bit more confidence and gone with a more sort of, uh, you know, more impressive graphics. But, you know, sort of, I, I, I like the pixel style. I can dig the pixel style. And so, you know, sort of, it, it works. It works for me, but I think maybe they should have put a little bit more confidence in it. Um, oh, goal, there we go. <laughs> I didn't expect that that quickly. Um, yeah, overall, it feels absolutely perfect. It feels like everything you would expect. I might have to blank out the screen. No, 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 it's okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be back in a tick and uh, heap some more praise on this sucker because it really is that good. My only real criticism of the game, I know I said I was gonna heap praise on it, but you know what? Um, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a criticism is the fact that it is almost too reliant on the original stages. You know, things like Green Hill Zone, and I'm trying to remember which other ones have been <laughs> revealed, so I just won't say anything. So Green Hill Zone, and, you know, sort of the, the, the second acts are fantastic. But it, the initial acts, whilst they have a few differences here and there, they're generally very much what they were before, and I think they should have realistically gone just complete balls to the wall, just new stages all over the place. Maybe Green Hill Zone, or maybe, you know, sort of references to previous games, and there are plenty of those, so don't worry about that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go around the long way like some sort of common... No! <laughs> exactly! There we go, I got through it. Like some mad Egypt. I'm not especially fantastic at Sonic games, but they hold a very, very special place in my heart. I love them to pieces, because I grew up with them. Um, not even so much the uh, Mega Drive games, but the Master System games, if you can believe. Oh no, I'm running out of time on the camera. I'm running out of Sonic Popcorn! Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop! That's a really, really vague reference, really obscure reference, I mean, to say. Ah, I need to stop the camera! Okay, I'm back. The limitation... <laughs> I need to get a camera that allows me to record more than 10 minutes. But you know what? It's, it's fine. It just means I have to do the odd cut every now and then. It makes editing a pain in the ass. But you know what? For you, you're worth it. And honestly, for this game, it's worth it. I, I could just sit here and play and talk about this game for an hour, easily. And I would love to, but I'm not going to, because, you know, that, that would probably be a little bit tedious. You know, maybe a live stream or something, but we're not really set up for live streams. Last time I tried a live stream, it was an absolute, you know, nightmare, pain in the ass, and uh, just overall wasn't a good time. But yeah, I do, I do wish they had just said, you know what, Studiopolis, Mirage Saloon, just, you know, go for entirely new levels. Okay, I can't go through that. I'm gonna have to go down. I thought I'd be able to, but apparently not. Hey, let's go in this van again. Can I go in this van? I can indeed. But, you know, sort of, that that is, you know, it, it's, it's a small complaint, but, you know, sort of, I've played th those levels and those aesthetics, you know, many, many times before. I'd like to try something new. Um, they do it well with uh, Chemical Plant Zone, which I know has been revealed. In the second act, everything is really, really different. In fact, you know what? Let's show you Act 2 Chemical Plant Zone with Knuckles. And so here we are. Yes, now it initially looks very, you know, very much like what you'd expect. But all of a sudden, now we're getting things like syringes and it, it's creating these gels and, you know, stick some green stuff in and whoa, you know, it's massive and it just... It, it's still Chemical Plant Zone, but it is entirely its own kind of level. If you were to theoretically strip the Chemical Plant Zone aesthetic, um, things would be kind of weird because, you know, things like the gels and stuff like that makes a lot of sense. But it, 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 would, it could easily be an entirely different level and no one would ever say, oh, this is like Chemical Plant Zone, because it's nothing like Chemical Plant Zone, especially not, you know, sort of the Act 2 of Chemical Plant Zone from Sonic 2. And I fell in there, I wanted to go on the spring, but you know what, it's fine. Um, and interestingly, I haven't played much of the, um, you know, sort of the original Sonic games with Knuckles, simply because I haven't played, uh, I never owned Sonic and Knuckles, and I haven't played, um, yeah, I haven't played that many games as, you know, as a result, you know, I'd, you couldn't play Sonic 3 as Knuckles with, in, in Sonic, in Sonic, could, could you? I can't remember. Pretty sure you couldn't, but uh, maybe you could. I didn't play that much Sonic 3 either, so, you know, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage in many regards. So, But I do remember playing bits, and I remember playing enough that I 
think he feels maybe a bit slower. But I'm not sure. I did talk earlier. Can I climb through that? Nice one. Um, but it is a totally different, um, a totally different dynamic playing as Knuckles. You don't go as fast. I mean, I think theoretically you can go as fast, but it's not as easy to gain speed in gliding. If you glide, you'll have a little bit of a cooldown there. And just overall, he's just not as mobile um, when it comes to moving as quickly as possible as Sonic, which is unsurprising, considering Sonic is supposedly the fastest thing alive, unless we get into infinite from Sonic Forces. But I'm not talking about Sonic Forces for obvious reasons. <laughs> I think I've made myself clear on Sonic Forces, so I'm not going to talk about that. I'm here talking about Sonic Mania, and Sonic Mania is really, really good. So let's stick with Mania. I, I'm just trying to think of other things I can talk about without going... Oh, that's the wrong way. I don't want to go that way. Without verging into spoiler territory, because I, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. And um, it will be... It's difficult to think about things. Um, okay, I, I can talk vaguely. Bosses are fantastic. They are genuinely fantastic. I know you've probably seen, um, well, you've, you've seen me play it, the, um, the first mini-boss from the first level. And uh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But uh, it's, it, it's a little bit basic. Thankfully, though, all the other bosses, pretty much. I mean, there's one boss in particular, which I'm going to be covering in another video because I love it so much. Um, but I, I can't really talk about it with any confidence here because I, I feel, you know, I did say spoiler free and there will be spoilers in there. So I'm not going to be talking about it too much. They are just wonderful and they're really inventive. And in fact, the boss in Chemical Plant Zone, this one, thankfully, because I'm in time attack, it doesn't do the boss. Um, it is, again, massive spoiler. So I'm not going to talk about it but it's genuinely absolutely wonderful and uh, any classic Sonic fan will absolutely love it. And new record, because I've only got one. Brilliant. But that is Sonic Mania. And I, 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 I almost had my hopes too high for this game when it, uh, you know, sort of when it was first revealed and stuff like that. I don't think they were. It's, it's delivered on every, on every regard. And honestly, it's genuinely absolutely wonderful. I assume the Switch version is just going to be as good. I can't, you know, sort of thematically, it's not going to be any different. Sorry, I need some water. Yeah. Thematically and in terms of content, it's no different. I don't know whether maybe it doesn't have leaderboards or something like that, but the actual raw content of the game is going to be exactly the same, which means it's going to be fantastic. And I'm seriously, seriously looking forward to getting getting a copy of that when I can. And yeah, I just just absolutely love it. As a classic Sonic fan, it's 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 a pure love letter. It's everything you could want, almost. Well, I mean, it's not everything you could want, but on a, it, it's a real, it's a work of passion. It's a work of pure passion, and it reeks of it. And honestly, I think they've done an absolutely superb job, and this is the best Sonic, you know, new Sonic game I've played. Well, the best, <laughs> let me rephrase that entirely. This is the best new Sonic game to come out from the past, honestly, I'd say 10 years, maybe. And I know it is, it, but you know, that, that is for me personally. For me, it's the best. For other people, it may well not be, and that is absolutely fine. Everyone has their own opinions and their own choices and their own views and things like that. But when it comes to, you know what, this is a really boring screen to stay on, so um, I'll, I'll go to a better screen, but without spoiling anything. <laughs> but it just, it just, tickles that nostalgia gland that I have. And even even taking that out of consideration, it's superbly refined. It looks beautiful. It takes the sort of the pixel art aesthetic, but it doesn't just hammer you to death with it. It works really well. It's, it's very much like Shovel Knight in that regard, and the design is wonderful. I mean, this intro animation is just, it's just beautiful, honestly. And it's made by the same guy who did the arms cartoon. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I'll put a picture up to let you know what that is. Honestly, it's just, it's just, as a classic Sonic fan, it's just everything. It is just everything. And they've done superbly well. And I think I'm just repeating myself now, but it is that good. I love it to pieces. It's not a perfect game. No game is. Um, it's just wonderful. I wish there was more of it. I do wish there was more of it, but the aesthetic, the way that everything's presented, the gameplay is solid, the levels are pure, 
ecstasy to play. They get increasingly harder over time. It's very difficult to find flaws beyond what I've said previously, mainly in regard to, you know, having the confidence to do entirely new levels. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Sonic Mania, and I hope you like this video. It turned out to be very big, shall we say. <laughs> And so if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you drop dash towards that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Very little Xbox One content apart from this. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,